Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today I'm going to show you how to create a project like this. I actually created this for a class and it was a reversible design like this to create a table runner. And that table runner looks like this. And you can see that it's reversible on both sides. You can do this so that you have different fabrics on both sides. And one of the nice things about this is this is kind of a quilt as you go technique. So the blocks after they were created, I took my machine, used a satin stitch to hold this together. And then what I did is I created the this strip on both sides and I sewed it down at once. And I did that by using some of the wash away tapes that you can use today. So I'm going to show you what the steps are to create something like this. And I will also have a step-by-step -step video that shows you how I built it. The first thing that you need to do when you're creating something like this is you need to think about how, how you're going to build it. And this is a different example. It's a different shape and you can see there are different fabrics. So the first thing I do is I hoop my no-show mesh and I create a placement line and that's going to be for my background fabric. I tape my backing material and I always cut it so it's more generous than my hoop size because you need to be able to trim these and sew these blocks together. And depending on the width that you want your sashing strips, you may want more fabric in that seam line. Then you are also going to tape this background down, taking three pieces of tape, one, two, three, and they're about this long. And you'll do that on all sides on the back. Then you place your hoop background fabric that's on the back and then also on the front, and then you're going to stitch around that and secure it. Move your hoop and check and make sure that it's not wrinkled. And after you've done that, then you can well, we're at the next step. So here's our placement line. Here's our tack down line. Then you're going to stitch your background. Your background is going to give you the shape of the applique that you have created. You want to write down the size of that. You want to cut your fabric so that it's generous. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that fabric to the front and to the back. And it's more important that you tape it on the back, but you want to make sure that you tape that fabric down and you will go ahead and tape it down. Then you're going to stitch your placement stitch. And then after your placement stitch, then you're ready to trim your fabric. And actually this is your tack down stitch because you really don't need a placement stitch. You can tell where to place it in this step right here. So then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to tack it down, trim your applique on the front and back, and now you're ready for your satin stitch and to also tack down your center fabric.
So you'll create that satin stitch, you'll tack down your center fabric, you'll stitch out your applique in the center, and then you have a little decorative center. And all of these steps are really easy to create on your machine. You just need to know how to go about it.